Hey guys, what's up? It's Tara. So I know you guys are really up close and personal to my face right now, but that's because I'm just going to do a quick little makeup tutorial of how I do my makeup when I'm either going to be filming, taking Instagram pictures, or I just want to look cute, like if I'm going out or something like that. So this is pretty much my go-to. It's really pretty, it's pink, it's girly, it's kind of doll-like, which is pretty much my vibe whenever I do my makeup. I just wanted to show you guys how I do this makeup, and maybe you guys could pick up some tips from it too. I do share some tips of like the idea behind how I do my makeup and why I do some little things that I do. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, that's pretty much it. My hair is so like, I need to go straighten my hair immediately, immediately. So I don't use a primer, but I do really, really like the Morphe setting spray as a primer on the face and finishing spray. So I use it twice, but I just think that it makes the makeup stick really well. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I am not gonna show it because I do them the exact same as in all my other videos, so yeah. Okay, brows are done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some foundation on. I'm going to do full coverage because whenever I'm filming or just like taking pictures, I always wanna have full coverage foundation, even if my skin is like clear or bad, whatever. I just like having full coverage. So I'm gonna use the shade 22 Bisque Light in Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It's my favorite full coverage foundation. I'm just gonna put that all over. I actually need to buy a new one. I'm running out of this. It's annoying because I feel like you always run out of your favorite makeup at the same time. Which kind of makes sense because you're probably using it the same amount of time, but like, still what the hell. So, just a little tip or whatever. I always start with the bottom part of my face and then I do my forehead last because I have more face to cover on the bottom half than my forehead. I barely put any product on my forehead because um, I don't like having a lot of product on my forehead because my forehead is pretty small. So when it gets cakey, it's like faster and easier to see when it has too much product on it. If you have a bigger forehead, obviously use product. Mine's just pretty teeny tiny. Now I'm just going to conceal my under eyes with the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I really like this. Um, the coverage is really good and I like how it stays and sticks on my face. I don't really like the applicator, but the product itself is really good. So I'm just gonna put that in a V under my eyes. You know the drill. See, it look a little bit crazy, but we're gonna look super awake after this. All right, so I'm gonna take this Morphe Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend out my concealer. And I'm gonna bring it kind of like up here to kind of just like start that cheekbone highlight. And if you have a little bit extra, you can always like tap it on your lids as to further your like eye primer. And then if you have any excess too, cause I have some excess right here, you could just like tap some on your center of your forehead to kind of highlight. I go over my nose kind of briefly like this with the excess. And I'm just gonna blend out this part right here and pick up some of that extra product that I accidentally put down. Beautiful, looking gorgeous. Actually, I'm looking scary. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take the same beauty blender. You can switch to a different one. I always just keep this one because I like how dense it is. But I'm gonna set my under eyes with my favorite Ben Nye Fair Translucent Powder. First we're gonna set the under eyes and then we're gonna go back in and bake. This powder has like a little tint of pink to it, which I really like for under my eyes because it like counteracts the blue and takes out, um, just helps cover up any discoloration from bags and things like that. Cause you know, we're working hard and we get tired and we get bags. When you're doing makeup, that's either for filming or photos or whatever, you just wanna make sure you're really kind of focusing on your bone structure and like highlighting that because you don't want your face to look really blown out at all. You want it to have like the shadow, the highlight and all that good stuff. I'm going to set my foundation with this Hello, what is it called? Hello Flawless by Benefit. And then we'll get to bronzing, which is probably my favorite part. I don't know. The, the whole face process in general is my favorite part. 
So now I'm just going to bronze my face with the Marc Jacobs Omega 3 or whatever it's called. The Omega Bronze in 102 Tantric. I love being tan, so I'm just gonna take this on this brush and we're going to just dust it first over our like areas that we wanna be bronze and then we'll go back and contour a little bit more. So maybe I'll define a little bit. Sometimes I go in with this little brush and I just tap back into this and you can just like further deepen up your hairline or um, really gently go like that and then you can blend it out. We're gonna go back and bake and clean it all up so it's okay if you get a little bit messy. Then I'm gonna take this Becca bronzer. It's in the shade Capri Coast. This is my second one. I really like this. It has some shimmer in it. So I guess I just did like the overall matte bronze with a little bit of contour and now I go back and I bronze with like, whoa, and I bronze with a shimmery bronzer. And I just like do some on my cheeks, on my nose. I, hope, I just ate a salad, so I hope you didn't see that, but I had a seed in my mouth. So I'm going to dip back into my Ben Nye powder on my Beauty Blender. I'm going to get a decent amount, and we're just going to clean up all that bronzing that we did because we sometimes if it drags down, it doesn't look as sharp, and I like my cheekbones to be pretty high, so you go from like your top of your ear and then drag it to the corner of your mouth. So. So you're gonna look a little bit funny, but <laughs> this is what you're gonna look like for a while, and then we're gonna let that bake. And it's just gonna sharpen up our features. So I'm just gonna do some blush really quick. I'm gonna use this Nip and Fab quad right here. This one and this one. And then it's super pigmented, so I just gonna like whack it. Sometimes I just like put the product on the back of my hand and then I go over my cheeks. And you wanna do that without taking any of this off, by the way. And I'm not gonna lie. My YouTube subscription box has been so dry, you guys. Just like not good. Like where's all the good videos? I don't know. I've not been feeling it lately. I've not been feeling it. Cause for me, my YouTube is like my TV. I'm just gonna take this like shimmery kind of blush. This is by Laura Geller. And YouTube is like my TV. So when there's nothing that I wanna watch on YouTube, I'm like, well then what do I do? do you know okay so let's move on to the eyes so basically you guys have been asking me what's like the pink look that I always do on my eyes I always recently ever since I got the Huda new nude palette I just have been using this it's like my go-to favorite palette ever so what I do is look how pretty this is it's just like perfect I always start off with what color Teddy right here this is like my go-to and then I'll, I'll mix in a little bit of tickle and I basically put that all over my lid and in my crease and stuff like that. And then I'll show you the shimmers and things that I do. So I'll just start off warming up my crease. Okay, really quick. I just feel like my bake has been on for a while. So I'm just going to wipe it off. And it looks nice and sharp, but not too harsh. And then if I feel like the line is a little too harsh, sometimes I'll do like a once over with this big bronzer brush and just do like a one, two, three. Yeah. I am not, here's the thing, it's like I'm not one to do makeup videos and I feel like they're not that great of me to watch because I do it so simple. But one other thing, when I do my eyeshadow is I typically don't bring anything underneath my lash line. Sometimes I do, typically I don't because I don't like my eyes to be dragged down. I like them to be really high and just like sit high on my face. Plus I was saying how I bring my concealer and my bake up like this. It kind of just follows so your eye goes more cat eye, which is basically why I don't like bringing anything underneath my eye because um, yeah, just like my eyes sitting high on my face and being very like, you know, it just kind of helps you smile a little bit more too. So next thing I would say that I do is sometimes I go all that and then sometimes I like to do a little bit of shimmer on my eyes. So what I do is I usually will take my finger, sometimes I wet it with the Morphe setting spray and I would put like one of these metallic shades. They're really pretty, you guys. Um, see? And I would just like tap it on the center of my lid 
Basically, I put it in the center. It's kind of like a halo effect. It's what I'm into, I don't know. So I'm mixing this light pink and then this goldish one that also has pink in it. So then on an angled brush, this is the part that I think really affects my eyes really well. So I'm gonna take a color, this raw color, cause raw is a little bit more brown, take the spank, it's a little bit more purple, but I want this one. And what I do is I line my lash line with this, but not the center where I put the shimmer. So I go right here on the outside, kind of like a little, if I was gonna do a little bit of a wing, but I don't. And then I go back and I do this front inner corner part of my eye, like right here. So it's deepening the outside and the inner part, but not the center. So it pulls my eye forward. I don't know how I started doing that. I just did my makeup one day and did it. And now I really like the effect of it, so. But yeah, I don't know why I like doing that. I just think it like looks good. So I'm just gonna do some more Morphe setting spray to break down the powder and I don't like doing it after my mascara just in case my mascara gets wet and like makes dots on my face. So with this setting spray, it breaks down the powders and legitimately makes it look like it's your skin, which is crazy. It's it's honestly really good. So while that's like kind of damp on my face, but starting to dry, I'll just take my highlighter and put it on top of my cheeks and sometimes I run it right here. I'm just going to take that on like a brush that looks like this. I like to match my highlight to my brow bone highlight, so I always just usually use the same highlighter. And that also helps just like define your brow after you've carved them out or something. Looking good, we're starting to come together. So now we're gonna move on to mascara. You guys were asking me, a lot of you guys were asking me actually what my mascara was in that video of when I vlogged work. And it is this mascara, it's called the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber, wait, what's it called? Yeah, Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara. It's so amazing, it's from the drugstore. I have three of them, I really like this product. Um, shout out to my mom for putting me onto it. I typically only put mascara on my top lashes too, not the bottom. Okay, so like this is one eye compared to like the no eye one. So I feel like you can start to see this thing that I was talking about, how I like to bring my eyes up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my other one. By the way, I completely forgot to put on highlight on my nose, which is one of my favorite parts. So I always take it on my ring finger and go down the center and do the tip. Not a lot, I like it look, to look a little bit natural. Moving on to lips. I basically only have one lip combo. So I line my lips with this hourglass lip liner called Panoramic. I actually need to sharpen it. And I like to line my lips, obviously a little bit bigger because obviously I have small lips. There was a comment on one of my videos that honestly made me laugh. I thought it was really funny. But it said that I'm surprised you haven't gotten lip fillers with your 2013 Kylie Jenner lips. And I'm like, huh. 2013 Kylie Jenner lips, that's like the best thing I've ever heard. Like it's not that I don't want lip fillers, it's just that I feel like getting lip fillers is one of those things that it's really gonna change the appearance of your face. So I'm not, I don't have like an issue with my face. Obviously I would like my lips to be bigger, but I'm not in a huge rush to get lip fillers. And whatever, if someday I do and I go get them, I'll vlog it and you guys can be a part of it. I don't think it's a big deal to get lip fillers. There's no reason why I haven't gotten them but I do think that my lips, my natural lips are bigger than 2013 Kylie Jenner lips. Just saying. Anyways, I don't even care. I thought it was great. I screenshotted the comment. So I'm just gonna overline my lips with this. So yeah. I just outlined and filled in my lip with this lip liner and now I have like a very specific lip combo. So I do the outer perimeters of my lip with Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood and then I do the center with Marshmallow by Lime Crying. Okay, so I just did the lips. I don't think I'm missing anything. So this is the basic foundation of my face and how I catfish on Instagram and how I do my Instagram 
or my little baddie makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. I'm going to be filming like a ton of videos today. I feel like I was very chill in this, so this may be kind of a boring video, but I did hope you guys enjoyed it. So this is how it turned out. I really like it. I feel like it's soft, it's pink, it's pretty, and it's doll-like, which is kind of my vibe whenever I do my makeup. So yeah, I will leave all the links down below to all the products that I use. So if you guys want to check them out or try them out, you totally can. I'll just leave the links and the names and the shades of everything that I use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram to keep up with my life and see all the sneak peeks of things that I'm working on and things like that. And I will see you all in the next one.